Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video we are going to discuss one interesting problem on backtracking, right? And this problem is very very important because it has been asked in many interviews, correct? So what we'll do, we'll first understand what exactly is the problem statement. After that, we'll jump onto its solution part, right? Now the problem is you'll be given a matrix like this. This is actually 4 cross 4 matrix which means here we have 4 number of rows and 4 number of columns, right? Now what you need to do, you need to find out the total number of unique paths from source node to destination node. Okay. Now let's assume that this is our source node which is 0, 0, 0, 0 is the coordinate of this one and let's say this is our destination node which coordinate is 3, 3, right. This is our destination node and here we have our source node. Now let's see how we can find out the unique paths from here to here. So you can see that the first one is like this. And one more thing is that in this matrix we have only ones and zeros. One is representing that there is no blockage. Means it is possible to move from here to here or from here to here. Right. But zero is representing that there is a blockage. Means it is impossible to move beyond zero. Okay. Now the first path will be something like this. This is our first path. Here in this column or in this row we don't have any zeros, right? And this is our second path. And here we have only two possibilities. The answer is two for this matrix. If the source node is this and this is our destination node. For that case the answer is two. Let's see this matrix which is 2 cross 2 matrix 1 0 1 1 this is our source node and let's say this is our destination node so for this matrix the answer is 1 here we have only one possibility this is the path because it is impossible to move beyond 0 okay this cannot be possible and you need to return 1 in this case right so this is our problem statement now let's try to understand how we can solve this problem using recursion and recursion is nothing but we'll be using dfs plus backtracking okay and here i've created one function which is count paths and you can see that four parameters has been passed the first one is the matrix which is this one second and third is the coordinates which we'll be using and the fourth one is the count variable for counting the total number of unique paths and here I've passed the count variable as a reference, but you can even use a global variable. Okay. Now the first condition is we are just checking the boundary means let's say if we are moving outside of this matrix. So using this condition, we can check out, let's say the coordinate of this point is one comma zero. Okay. Let's say we are at this node means there is no node. Actually, this coordinate will be 1 comma minus 1 right so this condition is actually used for checking that whether we are moving outside of the matrix or not so i is smaller than 0 z is smaller than 0 means if either of this condition is true we'll be returning to the original function call okay and this is our actual matrix means here we are just checking that whether the element is 0 or 1 so if it is 0 then we'll be we need to return to the base case means the function call stack from where it is called okay and this is the visited matrix means we are just checking whether the node is already visited or not so this is the condition for checking the boundary node and here what we are doing we are just checking whether we have reached the destination or not and assuming that the destination node is the last node means let's say if we have 5 cross 5 matrix so for this matrix 4 comma 4 means this coordinate will be treated as destination node okay so this is the condition for that and what we are doing here is we are marking the node as visited okay and this is the dfs means here we are just checking that whether it is possible to move to this path or not or this part means right top left and bottom okay so here we are just exploring all the four possibilities and one more thing it is not possible to move diagonally this is not possible and this is 
backtracking okay so once we visit any node let's say we have visited this node so we mark first we need to mark this node as visited and after that we need to mark this node as unvisited because we need to count the total number of paths right that's why we are using this and using this function we can calculate uh, the total number of unique paths from source node to destination node okay and let me show you the original code for it so this is the code here I've created the same matrix that I've shown in this example okay and this is the function for counting the total number of unique paths right so I'll give the link of this code in the description box uh, you can check out the solution so that's it for this video thank you